Everyone remembers from their chemistry lessons that hydrogen is number one in the periodic table. It is the lightest and the most abundant element in the universe. And that's not all. Hyped as the holy grail of the green energy transition, hydrogen has what it takes to save our planet. Experts warn that without drastic action, the current level of greenhouse gas emissions would put the world on course for a spike of 3.2 degrees Celsius in global temperatures this century. Thus, as we ponder on the challenges of global decarbonization, enthusiasm for a clean hydrogen economy has never been stronger. But as we are about to enter a golden era for hydrogen adoption, some question marks still linger over its path to glory. How can we overcome the hurdles of an inefficient infrastructure and make hydrogen a viable and cost-competitive alternative? A global pioneer in hydrogen fuel cell tech development, Hyundai is committed to accelerate its broad adoption beyond the automotive transportation sector to industrial applications such as power generation and storage systems. Uh, at Hyundai, we are convinced that hydrogen is the, it's a very important and integral uh, part of the new sustainable mobility. Uh, Hyundai started uh, the activities in the R&D space back in 1998, uh, which is more than 20 years ago. Hyundai debuted the fuel cell electric vehicle in 2005. The iX35 fuel cell was the base for the world's first commercially produced hydrogen fuel cell. And since 2018, its second-generation car Nexo boasts the world's highest system efficiency. It purifies the air in operation, and its only emissions are water vapor. But what's actually happening inside the car? The fuel cell is the car's own efficient power plant where the oxygen in the air combines with pure hydrogen from the tank stored on board. This chemical reaction generates electricity to power the wheels of the car with no emissions other than tiny pools of water. So if we compare hydrogen electric vehicles to conventional electric vehicles, there are some advantages, be it uh, the higher range, be it the shorter refueling time, um, but also its performance in cold climate. Hyundai sees a clear coexistence between fuel cell and battery systems powering an electric vehicle. Yet, hydrogen-powered cars are still relatively niche products due to the chicken and egg dilemma. Mass adoption is being prevented by a thin network of hydrogen refueling stations and vice versa as long as there are only a handful of car manufacturers commercializing fuel cell vehicles, the infrastructure is less likely to expand. But with the help of Hydrogenius, Hyundai is committed to tip this balance. One of the challenges we as Greater Berlin are looking into uh, in identifying new innovations, technologies, startups, solutions is to solve the transportation and distribution of green hydrogen. We want the hydrogen to be CO2 neutral and are looking for innovative technologies on how to find a cost efficient and safe way to transport hydrogen from areas where it can be produced uh, as green hydrogen to the areas where we are going to apply it. And Hydrogenius, a young German company founded in 2013, shares the same ambitions as Hyundai. I am the CEO and founder of Hydrogenius LOHC Technologies. Um, and my mission is to make our energy system emission-free and sustainable using hydrogen as the key energy vector. Despite its many advantages, hydrogen has a very low density at ambient conditions and requires very high pressures to be stored because it is a volatile gas. Handling hydrogen as a commodity in, in, in compressed form is at least very expensive. You need to build up very sophisticated infrastructure for it. And that's why we propose with our technology to get rid of that and just um, use existing infrastructure, having, uh, as mentioned, this carrier oil, which is compatible with today's tanks and uh, road tankers. And, and that makes it much easier and also um, safer. In May 2020, Hyundai decided to join forces with Hydrogenius to provide the basis of a global end-to-end -end green hydrogen supply chain. 
Through their technological and commercial business cooperation, the two companies will offer hydrogen infrastructure solutions that are both safe and efficient on a global scale. One of the main advantages of the LOHC technology is that it can handle large hydrogen quantities using the existing standard fuel tank and supply infrastructure. Thus, the costs associated with delivering hydrogen will be significantly reduced. We have developed a storage technology where actually hydrogen is being bound to a liquid carrier. That's a carrier that's very safe and easy to transport in the existing infrastructure for liquid fuels. The carrier is a diesel-like oil with high hydrogen storage density. It is hardly inflammable and neither toxic nor explosive. We invested in Hydrogenius to have a chance to understand better the potential behind this technology, learn from it and find ways how to work together to solve the issue of hydrogen logistics and find opportunities for commercialization all over the world. Together, the companies will initially start demonstrating the power of the LOHC technology in South Korea's network of hydrogen refueling stations. In the future, the partnership will know no borders as their plan is to develop the technology worldwide. In Daniel's words, A partner like Hyundai, who is um, not only very strong in Asia but also worldwide, is definitely um, a very powerful partner to do that. What we are witnessing today is a critical transition towards emission-free and sustainable technologies. As countries and economic forces around the world are converging to meet the climate change goals, hydrogen is in the spotlight as a green energy option. On the government side, there are serious winds of policy change in the sales of hydrogen, and on the industry side, there is an urgency to trade fossil fuels for planet-friendly energy sources. With Hyundai and Hydrogenius working together to further accelerate the rollout of hydrogen cars and to build an efficient supporting infrastructure, hydrogen stands a real chance of becoming the renewable oil of the future.